Ooh, what is up guys, Zen of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle and NBA Semi-Final, which just rule of course is the Scarender, as we are facing off against Yushin Rodent, which is actually one of the few people that actually beat me in the NBA with actually a speed boosting Heracross. Now we won that game due to hacks alone, sadly, but we get the rematch that we definitely both deserve and a very, very mighty one at that. And he's pretty much using the same team outside of actually using Ditto this time, which I was hoping for. Uh, so his team is Swampert, Thunderous, Calvintula, Ditto, and the, then the Ninja Mega Cross combo. Awesome stuff. So yeah, I have definitely made ensure this time that I can deal with it properly and accordingly. So I'm using Garbodor, which actually is a suicide lead. Rhyperior with Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Ice Punch in case he wanted to go for, a, of course, the likes of Flygon and the Rock Blast. And then we have Mono Attacking, Latios, almost Mono Attacking, Meta Sen, Mega Head, Mega, Mega Gross with uh, Sen Headbutt, uh, Grass Nod, Rock Polish, and Substitute. Tangrove, Assault Vest Standard to deal with Thunders at least once. And then a Belly Drum Set, Encore, a Sumeril. Now, I was considering having a Sepsi Perversion this time due to be able to deal with Heracross better in case things are, you know, going down the drainer. But I decided that I have so many times or so many options to actually set up against him that it might not be worth my time if he didn't bring Ditto as he did. So, yay. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna leave with, of course, my Garbodor and we see basically what's gonna happen. So, with all that said, let's go. So, right, from the get go here, of course, we're gonna try to get as much damage as possible as he's gonna lead off with Ditto. Now, I was thinking, you know, wavered back and forth whether or not I should switch out or not. I know what my own Garbodor can do to my Mega Metagross. So I decided eventually that I should switch out to that. Though I could have stayed in, just get the damage on the Ditto. But I basically wanted to see what he locked himself into, since he has to be Scar for this kind of matchup. I don't see anything else. As he goes for Rock Blast, and that's not gonna do a whole lot. Although I should say, Rock Blast was basically for Ninjask and Volcarona. Now, Ninjask was a part of the team. Nicely. Uh, so anyway, there's really nothing he can do here as of switching out to Swampert. I'm gonna stay rather safe, just go for the Sand Head, but I'm not gonna go for Grass Knot. Uh, I really just want the damage up there. And yeah, I'm just gonna take the time here to, of course, Mega Evolve, and of course I'm gonna give it some nice edits here. I've actually tried to do this for every Wi-Fi battle in the future. But yeah, here is Mega Metagross. Deal with it! Boom, boom, ba da ba <laughs> As Sand Head, but we'll show to do nothing. And, uh, or it does a lot of damage. I'll try to take the chance to go for a substitute in case of rocks coming up, as he will go for Earth Power, which I believe at the moment that, okay, this could possibly be a Rindle Berry. Now, after I send Headbutt, Rindle Berry uh, Swamper does not take this Grass Nut, so I felt rather surprised and stayed in as he goes for Ditto again, and I don't get a chance to sub up. Uh, I actually, I think I actually tried to wrap things up. I'm actually trying to go for the Grass Nut here since it were. Really no reason for me not to, as Grass Knot does really nothing here. And um, the next play here is kind of stupid. I should definitely actually try to get, get out of here. Uh, she'll show me Quick Claw, which is just nice. Uh, but whatever, <laughs> honestly. He goes for a substitute. Honestly, I go for a Sin Hit, but I don't break it. And I should probably start to figure out that it's better for me going for Ladias and actually go for Roar instead uh, to avoid getting unnecessary damage on Metagross. It doesn't do a whole lot to me, as you guys can see, but I just I just kept going. I just kept going, just trying to attack him and try to whittle down a Ditto that ne doesn't necessarily win the matchup in the first place, but I don't feel I have a reason to stay in anyway. Uh, so I'll, I'll honestly decide to switch out after I break the sub, since it's very likely to go for another sub and just try to get something out of this. As uh, when it goes to the next sub here, I was thinking, I don't know how much Sand Headbutt do to me. I didn't really figure out that damage. I decided I just roar. I don't like recover stall here. As Sand Headbutt doesn't necessarily do all that much, which is nice, but uh, I do get the damage here, of course, on my uh, Larios, which is always unpleasant. So here goes Metagross on something sweet. Since it doesn't have a Psychic Resist, I can just go for a Psy Shock here and damage something as he goes to Thunderous. And Thunderous here will not take this well, not at all, as it's almost completely destroying it. It does manage to survive though, and I switches, it forces switches to Tangrove. Now here's the thing, basically I was scouting here what possible set could he be, as he goes for a Volt Switch, which is the correct play, but we also see that he is not Life Orb, 
And that's a good thing because that means that Dark Pulse do not kill my um, Latios if the matchup comes again or Latias. As Heracross come in, now I was debating should I bring my Garbodor or not. I decided to stay near. I think that was the worst of the place. Uh, I should definitely switch in Garbodor since he's forced to go for Pin Missile. Which I should have taken notice to as Pin Missile just destroys my Tangrowth. And I basically lose a crucial switching here for Thunderous even though it's, it's kind of utilized or dead at the moment. And it, there is really nothing you can do uh, if I get rocks up. It's basically dead from that point on. I just need to find a situation where I can pull that off. So with that said, I'm going to bring back Safira because Psyshock still does immense amount of damage. And he realized this as he's going to switch out and go into Ditto. And Ditto will not take this. So Metagross can now come in freely. Assumeril can now come freely and, oh, and actually set up. Which is basically all I wanted as uh, the Psyshock will showcase to a immense amount of damage. Hon honest to god, that is just wonderful. As he's now going to bring in back Thunders, and like I said there, due to him not being life orb, I know I can take a Dark Pulse. Flinch is, on, uh, is a thing, of course. Doesn't happen, of course, and we're going to knock out the Thunders. So Latias just standing here super, super tall against this matchup, but I am weak to a possible Ninja's U-turn. Realizing this, I need to switch out against this matchup, and my safest switch here is, sadly and amusingly, actually, a Sumeril. Now, I should probably have considered Rhyperior, but I was fearing that, you know, Galventula was going to come in, as I figure out that Galventula is going to come in anyway, because, of, of course, a Sumeril will not be able to take uh, a hit from this mon, and I knew that. So, Galventula comes as I realize that, alright, here comes the grass move, right? Because I have Rhyperior, he's not going to go for... Um, he, he's not gonna go for Thunder here, right? So Barbarossa is a safer Pokemon after two as he goes for Thunder. And I was like, okay, that's um, that's pretty darn risky, but fine. Uh, as it is a roll, I'm going to decide to stay in here and actually try to take another one. And he gets the high roll yet again, or actually, probably that was probably medium roll. The high roll was the first time, but it's what it is. I fall there. As I'll just go to Desu Troya. All I need to do now is set up rocks, and his Ninjas will basically fall because there is actually no chance in hell Galventula takes a Sen Headbutt. And since we saw there was an air balloon, I know that I can safely go for a Sen Headbutt and just you know, kick it out of the bucket, really. As I get rocks up, so that limited the time the Ninjas can wear myself around me. As so that is, you know, honest to God, awesome. As I just go to Sigma. There is no damage output you can do with Energy Ball, though I could have sacked, honest to god, Rhyperior there, since it served its purpose. I didn't do that, and uh, that was probably dumb of me, actually, as Sen Hedda would just knock it out. I mean, what if he went for a Bug Bus instead? That would just be the worst kind of play ever. But anyway, we knock out the Galventula, of course, as here comes the Ninjask. Now, here's the thing. I have plenty of options, but at the time, I didn't think about it all too much. Uh, I have enough HP to substitute, um, I knew he was gonna substitute, so I just take a chance of rock polish here, really, as, um, now I should probably have done the, the safer play, which would have been to switch in Latios, uh, or Latias, and just roar him out, since, uh, there's no way he can switch in back again, and he has to kill me, which means that he would lose all the kind of momentum he could get with Ninjask. Having that said, I instead went for the mind games here, Ed was thinking, will he go for Protect or will he go for a Baton Pass? He goes for the Baton Pass as I went for Rock Polish. And the reason that's a very, very bad play is because I would have had speed Mega a Hero Cross at plus 3, even if I were at plus 2 with the speed boost. There was no reason for me of going for another Rock Polish. So what I'm trying to say here is I lost. Yeah. I know the game didn't necessarily waver out to that, but that's, I lose this game. There is no way of me of getting back, and um, I know as the time went on here and the game developed that it looks like I had some kind of momentum to waver myself back and forth, and I, I kind of did. It just, the end game is just a um, train wreck of place from my side, really, and it happened so fast, I know. But the thing is here, I, of course, I wasn't Sap Zipper or Sumeril against this matchup, which would have been super helpful. Now, he gets an unnecessary crit that, but it wouldn't matter because a 5 hit is basically killing area to killing a Sumeril. And what I'm trying to say is that there is no way of me of winning this match. And Nasser, the Houston Rotoms, is gonna actually win this battle and go to the finals. And, um, 
yeah, I guess I should try to go over the game. I'm just going to wrap things up, of course, with this kind of situation. So, okay, you know, I really, really, really need to kind of explain myself. Because I, I basically let my opponent win this game, and that's something I am just not can get behind. This is easily the worst game in the whole season for me. And uh, after the game, I didn't feel that bad about it. I thought I did everything I could. Uh, obviously, it was late at late at night for me, and um, I wasn't necessarily looking forward to playing a late game. But that doesn't necessarily matter too much. But um, I missed out on a few stuff, and a, a lot of these stuff were extremely crucial throughout this game. And the worst part is that when the Ninjas come in, I should never have tried to win that matchup. I should just switch in Ladios or Ladios, go in for the roar, hoping that he, he was forced to go for a U-turn. Which would have meant that he could not set up a sub, which means I could just spam send headbutt from that point on, and I would have won the game. The same thing is with the Metagross matchup, if, even if I decided to say it like I did, I had HP to go for a substitute. At the time I didn't think I did or did, but I have around 30%, which was well enough for a substitute, and I knew that substitute would have won me the game here too, because that would mean that I could just substitute by himself. He couldn't break it with Ninjas and just rock polish up till he actually decides to switch out. So I I did the worst play of the possible plays I had left in me and trying to win some kind of mind games that I didn't have to lose in the first place. Because like I said, a plus three hero cross is not faster than a plus two metagross. <sighs> so yeah, this is a train wreck of a battle and definitely the worst battle of the season and there is nothing wrong with how Nostra plays it is that I play I do the worst calls out of the three options I had out of the four options I had and um, like I said I didn't reflect on it at the time because I thought I got it I was so adamant going into this game that there was really nothing my opponent could do and uh, till the very end I really thought you know let's wrap things up I got this and it just ending up as a freaking domino effect on the whole team and I just lose the same way I did to him last time but this time it's worse because I had options to stop it from the turn one basically when the, when all transpired and the end game was starting so I'm going to say this Nasser you're aware of the finalists there, there is nothing wrong with that and um, I'm just so frustrated that you, I knew I knew I had this game and I didn't. I don't know what I did. And it's it's play things like this that ensures that you shouldn't win a championship because when you when you when you if your lowest point is this bad, then you you shouldn't you shouldn't win a championship. It is that bad. I, I'm sorry to say it, and I I know I sound super super frustrated and uh, annoyed, but it's just because I am. Um, I, I barely can watch this game because of that, and I think it's such a bad wrap up for the season because you guys who follow me throughout this season you deserve better you deserve you deserve proper content and this is definitely not it um but yeah i have a great season though and i obviously do a wrap up because i have actually had a lot of fun with these guys and the mba this is a, this is definitely a league i'm going to look forward to in when the generation 7 is starting uh, of course i'm going to avoid playing leagues until the tiers are done um but that's a subject for another day. But yeah, what I'm trying to say, guys, is thank you so much for all the support throughout this season. You guys have been so good. And to Nasser, you know, good luck against, of course, Greg in the final. Um, it's going to be a tough game. It's definitely going to be. And I think you both are worthy. Uh, I just think I should have won this game so much. <laughs> but like I said, if you can't play your best when it matters, then it's not, not it isn't worth anything. It really isn't. Um, but yeah guys, thank you so much of course for watching and uh, I'll see you in the wrap up video in a few days until then guys, thank you so much for all the support this season, I'm saying again because I really can't stress that enough, you guys have been so great um, and yeah, I see you next video guys take care, bye